This video is about using Microsoft Office 365 Teams for having specific managers or portfolio managers view um, key data from Power BI or um, the reports that you have built. Um, before we get started, the whole idea is that we often see customers ending up in situations where sharing reports can be a hassle. We have two options normally to share Power BI reports. One thing is to, to simply embed them on the SharePoint page. An alternative to that is to ask managers to go to Power BI and then end up in something that looks like this. Now, embedding the reports within SharePoint sites is a way to go around it, but it requires that you publish to web. And this means that when you, pu when you publish the reports, they will be available for everyone else on the internet. So clearly this is not something that portfolio managers can use considering data is quite often confidential. The alternative is to train and have managers want to be within what is called Power BI, meaning this. For some it's too complex um, and it, it requires too much learning um, to understand how to access reports, get data, using content packs, editing information, and so on. So we often see portfolio managers in a situation where they want to share reports in a smarter way. Um, and this is where I would like to introduce Teams, which is a new thing for Office 365. If we navigate to Teams and notice that we now have made our report already in advance and we want to share it, we go to Teams. And we go to the Teams area here. And Teams, by the way, is teams.microsoft.com if you want to activate it into your own tenants. Then we can create a new team by clicking Create Team, and we could call this Portfolio Managers. Collaborate on our key data reports. Next. Now, Teams will now create a group in Office 365 as well, which is also why we can now add specific members to this group which is simply a matter of writing either the name or the email. So Carsten, we would like to be here, he's the CFO. We would also like to have Andreas, who's the COO, for instance, and so on. So we add those members to our team, meaning they also are now added to the group. We can then manage if they should be owners or members, depending on how much they should be allowed to customize specific views within this team. So let's say we are done with this. The Portfolio Managers team has now been created. We know who are the members of it. And now we have what is called different channels down here. A channel could be a project or any kind of initiative that you're working together on. For each channel, and we can set up multiple, let's make one called PPM Reporting. For each channel, we can then add different functionality. Some of the things being from within Office 365, Power BI, for instance, or at the times from external sources, which is why we have something called connectors up here that we can add. And there are 100 plus connectors right now, so that's uh, another exercise to, um, to go through if we have to talk about the connectors, but you'll find them here. In our case, besides being able to write to uh, other team members like Hello Team, and they can respond obviously, we can have video calls and have uh, files uh, linked and associated, we can also manage our files more generally speaking, from the file section, which is in fact the same thing as OneDrive. Um, and this is again because teams are using groups to store this information. We have notes, for instance, to create uh, meeting minutes and so on, which is again specific for this team, in this case, the portfolio managers. Now to get to the point, Power BI, we have made a specific set of reports that our managers should be able to access without having the rest of the world seeing them if we have to publish to the web, and then also without having them to understand and learn about Power BI. So if we click the plus button up here, we can select Power BI. Notice we also have Planner and other things. We select Power BI, we give the tab a name, we could call it PPM Reports. Then we're able to now figure out and find the specific reports that we need to be able to share. And notice this is not a dashboard. This would be the reports that you have built. So they are interactive as well. From the workspace section, we can select the specific workspace 
in which we have stored our reports. I will use it right now for my, for my own workspace and I will select the one called Prince 2 and I hit save. If, it, if you tag this post to channel about this tab, it means that people now get notified through mail um, that we now have some new content for our team. If we hit save, it will now load the entire report. So now the, the report has been loaded uh, into the, our team view, which means that we now have an interactive approach to looking at data. We can actually just use the boxes here and do some filtering. Um, as you would normally be able to do in Power BI. You can also click on this expand box if you want to see it from a bigger perspective and get the, the same kind of feeling and UI as you would uh, within Power BI. If we go back to the report, we also have the filtering section that is also enabled from within um, Teams uh, showing this data. Even better, at the bottom, we're able to, to see the other reports that are within the same report. So if we have multiple sections, we can go to risks, for instance, and see what's going on from that perspective, from faces or whatever you've set up in your, in your PPM reports uh, in Power BI. So this way only the team members can navigate to the portfolio managers team and see the report tab. That's an easy way to share specific reports you've made, but obviously you still have to learn something. Your managers have to learn that something exists called Microsoft Teams and it is a smart way for team members that not always sit together to collaborate on something as key as, in this case, uh, project portfolio reports.